everyone, and welcome to another Tri Forex Power Hour. I'm Marcello. Today's June 12, 2014, and we're going to do today what I've done for years, which is an analysis of the markets and evaluation of our strategies, which are based upon the 5 p.m. Eastern close of our daily bars. Let's go ahead and get started here. So basically, at 5 p.m. Eastern time, we determine what our bias is. What is the bias? Bias is the greatest probability of movement of price. So if we believe that price is going to have a, a maximum favorable excursion upward of a particular currency pair, we would call a buy bias and vice versa for a sell. And then we also have what we call a consolidation bias, which means that we believe price is going to stay within a certain range. OK, and then when we call consolidation, we buy off the, the lows and we sell off the highs. All right. So let's go ahead and assume that we have determined our bias. Uh, there are two ways that we can execute trades. We can either, one, take a set and forget it trade, or two, we can day trade in the direction of our bias using what we call pods. If you don't know what pods are, then check us out at tryforex.com. Find out what a pod is. Very, very powerful tool in your arsenal for your trading and for, obviously, I believe, for profitability long term. Having said that, let's go ahead and take a look at the charts, figure out where the market's going from here. So, Yesterday, I said the euro dollar was going to bounce off of this trend line here. I have not moved this trend line. It is not magic. Uh, this is the trend line that we had drawn for technicals. From our technicals here, we said right about 135.08, 135. Actually, we said between 135.08 and 135.15, we're going to see the market bounce off that area. Um, price really did come down to 135.11, which is right in the middle of that range, and took off to the upside going up. Uh, 60 pips from that 135.11 point. So we had a 60 pip range on the day and we, we saw a price really do that. Now, just up until about an hour ago, I would have assumed that price would have potentially had a full retracement. I don't know what's going to happen right now in price because price came back, closed at the end of the day within the previous bar, which does not tell me that there's a tremendous amount of strength as far as that buy is concerned for the, for, for the time being. What am I going to call? I'm probably going to call it consolidation. So if price comes back down here, touches that 135.20 area, um, I might be considering a buy. Uh, and uh, actually, yeah. And also, I'm going to be looking for at about 135.70, uh, previous highs at 135.70. We hit that 135.70 point, guys, by the way. I'm going to be looking for a sell there. That's actually a very, very strong area of resistance there because the, the 50 EMA is right there at 135.71 and guess what price went to what price went right to 135.70 so uh, 0.9 actually so uh, 135.79 so just about 135.71 which is where uh, the 50 EMA is wow you want to talk about magic so you could have made money 60 pips on the way up with my call and uh, you know really using these areas of support resistance uh, you could have also taken a sell off here and gotten down to about the 135.58 range which is about 20 pips from where we are currently all right so having said that we have a consolidation bias on the euro dollar from what i can tell here and the same thing here guys goes for the uh, dollar swiss dollar swiss looks a little little clearer so i said basically the same thing guys we're going to get back to areas of support and resistance here um, we did, we got up to 0 0.90 hundred, price went right above it to 0 0.90 11, and then bounced downward, headed downward. But guess what? It closed above our previous areas of support and resistance, closed right in the range here, um, right at the 200 EMA on the daily and at the, the upper Bollinger Band is what we're looking at right now. So, you know, it's staying within this range. We've got to call consolidation. We've got three bars here. Not including the big, long master candle that we have here. Uh, we've got, and if we include that, then we've got two, four, six bars inside, um, which really can really contribute to a, a great deal of consolidation. All right. Pound dollar, I'm going to kind of move through these. <clears throat> Pound dollar actually did quite a number. I, I can't say that I was expecting this huge move to the upside. You know what? Maybe I should take a look at... Um, I'm going to, you know, I would like to take a look at Forex Factory again. There's massive movement to the upside. The news that I saw came out of the U.S. And um, so, anyway, was not expecting that. We actually had mixed news, a mixed bag of news, if you will. 
for the U.S. Unemployment did go up, but we also had some positive news, economic news as well for the U.S. dollar. So it could have gone either way. You can see that price just really just went right off of this uh, daily 50 EMA and just really just headed upward very, very strongly, getting up to 69.24. So we're really almost right back to the highs here again. And what does that say? It says that we have a continuation of that up um, uptrend. If we can get past this area, this uh, this Bollinger Band on the daily here. So if we get past these highs, the pound dollar is cleared for go as far as a, a, a buy is concerned and a continuation to the upside. That's going to be an uptrend. And then we're going to be looking for price to continue to come down to this to this trend line thereafter and, and continue to move. Right now, we can't say that, though. So, you know, we're going to look for price. To, we're going to look to see what price does at this point on this pound dollar. It's got to get above this area, and then I think we'll be clear for a continuation there because our whole plan was to uh, look for price to really play around the 168.50, 16900 area, and and see a, 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 a you know a continual play inside of this what seemed to be a flag formation forming on the monthly chart of the pound dollar. Now, we're still not out of that range. We could still see the very same thing. We've just got to wait and see what's going to happen from here. So just keep that in mind. Um, until we get that break above this area, which is 169.95, 17000 uh, we're not going to be calling a buy trend just yet. So we're going to wait and see what happens here, how it plays out, see if we get another sell signal, and then it's probably going to drop really hard if we do get a sell signal. All right, so I called the dollar yen sell. And we did. We got a beautiful sell-off on the dollar-yen right off that 50 MA. Just continued down. It was a good set-and-forget-it uh, set trade, potentially. And uh, right where we are, let's take a look. There's probably some support and resistance there that we have to consider. If there isn't any support and resistance, then we're just going to watch this thing continue to drop. All right, so we do. We have a continuation down. It actually crosses very, very nicely right at 101.27 with the 200 EMA. So I'm um, going you know, to look for price to come back down, come down to 101.27. So I'm looking for a sell on the dollar yen. All right, so the Aussie dollar. Aussie dollar continued up. We expected exactly, well, I said it was going to come down to the trend line. Um, we could have had a sell off here, but we could see a trend line, uh, see price really. Uh, Test, we test the trend line at 93.57 and it did come down, came down to 93.47 and really pushed up really, really strongly here. So, you know, that's what the Aussie dollar looks like right now. We got to wait and see what happens from here. But yeah, it just broke above and we've got to look for a buy here um, looking forward on the Aussie dollar until we see something else. Euro yen, I expected to see consolidation play and it did not. Consol I expected it to get back up here, sorry get back up here to the 138.62 area and sell off that. We didn't get up to the 138.62 area. It sold and it closed low. I don't know what to say about this. This is actually looking like it wants to continue to sell off. So the yen is getting stronger for the time being. And we got to watch it and see where it goes from now, from here. Oh, okay, but it looks like there's a good opportunity here on this pound yen. Guys, and I'm going to tell you what I see here. This pound yen already starting right back up at our trend line. We have multiple tests of this trend line. We are getting close to the apex. We're not quite there. Um, so for the time being, you know, we have breakouts 10% of the time. I can definitely say that we've retested this area at least 10 times maybe. So um, this trend line anyway. So we've got uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 times, you know. Um, Right now, we've got to call. We've got to be looking for a sell-off on this 172.40 area until we see a breakout of this trend, uh, this trend line that we're, we're looking at. There's also another trend line here as well that we have to consider on the daily. And so we could see price actually continue to move north and get to this trend line up here at 172.94. So one of two things can happen: we can get a sell-off right where we are at 172.50. To the downside. Now, if price does retrace, goes up, up above this, look for another retracement at 172.90. A bounce, I should say, a rejection of price at 172.90, about the 173.300 area. Um, so we do have this pennant, we do have this formation. It is continuing uh, to hold strong. 
And so we're going to look for a continual consolidation here, play on the pound yen. Okay. <clears throat> New Zealand dollar, a big move yesterday. It happened really early in the session. And you can see what happened. It just moved up really, really strongly, 86.85. It, um, in one bar, guys, in <clears throat> one bar, we saw that move up. And it's because the cash rate on New Zealand, <clears throat> we talked about it yesterday, uh, increased. We, we expected that increase. I, you know, you just never know with fundamentals, to be honest with you, if it's already been priced in. Uh, apparently not. <clears throat> so, you know, here we are. Here we are again, looking at the New Zealand dollar. I'm going to actually look at a higher time frame. See what I can see. Uh, there was some consolidation reversal candle here. Railroad tracks formation. You know, there's nothing really telling here just yet. I mean, I just think it's consolidation. One, two, three, four bars on the monthly. We're getting close to the highs again. I think we can look for a 80 unless we have new information. Well, I guess this was new information. Um, we've got to look to see what happens at the, at the previous highs, which would be at a right around, I want to say 8,800. About 8,800, we'll see what price wants to do here. That's going to be a point for us to look at. Um, to, to see where the market wants to go from here. So 8,800 looks like price is going to move up and see if it's had enough, if it's going to turn back, or if it's going to continue to move forward. Um, and that's that's really what we have to wait for, okay, on the New Zealand dollar. So I'm not necessarily going to – I'm actually going to call a buy up to to, to about that 8,800 point and look for price to really begin to do something here at this Bollinger, which is at 8,750, and then look for price to, to do something at 8,800 on the New Zealand dollar. So buy so far. Big, huge moving uh, move up on the, on the New Zealand, but uh, until we see something else, I've got to call a buy. Dollar cat, I call the sell. I still see more of a sell here that can come. 1.0825 is what I'm going to be looking for. I'm going to be looking for uh, price to come down there, retest that area, and bounce off of it. We're in consolidation on the dollar cat. And that pretty much sums it up. I hope something I said actually helped you here. Uh, the currency pairs that I'm more likely to trade. I just think there's a consolidation play on the euro dollar and the dollar Swiss. That, that's very, very clear. Um, the dollar yen looks solid for a sell solid for a sell so far there's no area of support to stop it to get down to 10127 so that would be where I would go there I think that's maybe one of the strongest plays euro yen looks like a sell as well <clears throat> and dollar cat looks like a sell as well that's it guys with that I'll talk to you actually it's Thursday I'll see you on Monday for another edition of the Triforex Power Hour and Happy trading. See you next week. Have a good weekend.